We brought the kids this morning to, to ride Sunday. It's, so you remember, you're in control. This is the first time she's been ridden in probably a year, probably. Okay, two years. She hasn't been ridden in two years. Wow. My stomach doesn't feel good. Uh oh. We need to get this checked out um, for as. Sometimes I just have to stop and not say anything. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. At this point, I'm not saying anything at all. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Okay, get your jacket. Savannah, Lizzie, I have you got your guys and suckers. Sucker for one. Thank you. Every time I sit down for a minute, Missouri comes and jumps in my lap and just wants to be snuggled. Oh, baby. I don't mind. Missouri, I do have things that need to be done. But how can you resist snuggling with a purring baby kitty? I definitely can't. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Okay. okay, one at a time. Yeah. Yeah, you guys one. are a lot braver than I was when I was littler. Oh, I uh -oh. dropped it. It's okay, they'll eat it with dirt on it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not double dirt, though. <laughs> you got this. Here you go. Good job. Yep, open hand. Yeah, she's tied up, so you <laughs> gotta get close. You can't dude. be afraid of it. Don't be scared, she's gonna hurt you. She's not gonna bite you. She doesn't wanna bite you. She just wants the apple. Her lips are her fingers. There you go. Ah, you're scared. You can't like tilt it down. It's gonna fall. Don't don't pull away. There we go. You have to trust her. Horses are all about trusting them, and they'll trust you. Pull on it. Lift it up. Try sliding down the back. Yep. Slide down. There, she, there you go. Yeah. And grab that. Yeah. Just lift. She just leaned to the right, so she's ready. Yeah, she's leaning. She's you ready. You have to like. You gotta lift show, a little. Bit. Look, you have to like show her that you're gonna do yeah, it. You gotta pull that. She yeah, she's already leaning up. There you go. There oh, it is. My. She doesn't want to. Come on. There you go, now. She's, she's like, like, you already did like, this. Already did she's it. like, we're done. Yeah, she's getting mad at me for doing it earlier. She doesn't there want to. Feel this hump, right? See that groove? <laughs> you just pull on that. Come on. <laughs> She'll lift it up, and then you hold it up, and then you pick it out. We may need to pick it a little more. Yes, a little bit more on that one, didn't you? Yeah. Always let her know you're here. She's getting lots of attention today. Oh, yeah. Her back looks good. She's still got lots of riding left in her. You have to like this and swing it up. Checking each other out. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you gotta be careful though, because when they start kicking and stuff, it gets worrisome, but it looks like they're alright. We brought the kids this morning to, to ride Sundance, and uh, Danielle's, mainly Danielle, Let's see if they can get the other kids on there. She's kind of testing out Sundance and just getting her used to, used to her a little bit. She's doing really good. She's coughing a lot. Isn't it? She dropped her phone? Yeah, she dropped her phone. Oh. Savannah's chasing the phone over there. Nice work, Danielle. Drop the phone again. Danielle, I think you can... Danielle, you can speed it up with you a little bit if you want. There you go, look That's at that. A nice candor. That's a good Keep one. That nice candor. She's probably pretty comfortable with that too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that looks really comfortable for her. This candor's a real comfortable ride. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Feeding the little horse, you know? Look how tiny he is. You could ride him. 
Oh, oh Gabana's on. Mm -hmm. Keep a hold of that horn. So you remember, you're in control. She's not in control. If you're still getting nervous. Don't don't let go of that horn. Okay. You know. Yeah. It's better to be on her. Don't be falling off. Yeah. So she was, was she being stubborn at all? A little bit, but she was getting better. There were some parts where, like, if we got close to the doors, where she was mostly stubborn, but she's getting better. I think it's more just trying to get familiar with it again. Yeah. It's yeah, gonna it's take a couple times a week. Yeah. So now that now that we've done this, we got a little bit better weather. You can come here a couple times a week and do this same thing. Mm -hmm. There you go, Savannah. Remember, you're in control. Pull back and say, whoa. There you go. There you go. Three, two, one. <laughs> we brought all the kids today just, just in case Sundance was in a position where she would uh, allow it. And um, the biggest thing was just to try to get to a point where um, number one, Danielle was under getting an understanding of, of Sundance and Sundance was getting an understanding of her. And uh, I think that was established for the most part and just kind of getting comfortable that way and then letting some of the other kids ride to see if Sundance is going to allow it. So far, so good. Savannah's doing really good right now. She's a good horse. She just needs some more time. She needs to be, uh, we need to spend a lot more time with her. She, this is the first time she's been ridden in probably a year probably. So she's doing really well. And to have all these other horses. Two years? Hasn't been ridden in two years? Okay, two years. She hasn't been ridden in two years. Wow. Ridden. So, she's doing really good. And she's got a little bit of a cough, so we gotta keep an eye on that too, because the vet said it's okay, but we gotta keep an eye on it. Are your hands up yet, sorry. Put, there you go, now reach up there with that horn. Swing your leg over. There you, there you go, you got it, you got it. Canyon, you're behind the horse. You're behind the horse, Canyon. Okay, let's go Good job, dude. Look at you, as. And just jump Piggy, off. go. Okay. Go get on. Yeah, you Swing your right foot over. 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 That's actually quite normal to get on a horse when it's trying to back up and turn around. Yeah. So you did good. Look at that guy. Straw in it. Ooh, yeah, There's yours. There's okay. yours. That's really so we just stopped at a little lemonade stand. They had Gatorade and cookies. Yep. yep. And these cookies look so yeah. good. These cookies look so good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. It's so good. Dude. Daddy, where are all the bulls? No, buddy. What's up? I'm looking for a bull because um my stomach doesn't feel good. Uh oh, what's up? Um, I think. What did you eat? Um, well, I um ate a grilled cheese, fries, and. What did you eat that could have made you sick? Do you think? Grilled cheese and the um, ice cream and the root beer for the bowl. That's a lot of stuff. What about milk? Are you allergic to dairy? I might be. Um, Lactose intolerant and just cold. reacts different than canning does? Yeah. Maybe. Okay, well, let me get you a bowl. Let's see if we can find one here. Yes, yes. You're excited for this? No, not really. <laughs> you sound excited. I'm just glad we have something that blocks me from throwing up on my covers if I do throw up. Yeah, we don't want that, but you still sound excited. All right, good night, dude. Good night. Love you. Love you. I'll be up there in a minute. We need to get this checked out um, for Az. Um, tonight we were talking with the Alvies and they have um, one of their, one of the kids is very allergic and they've been working 
uh, with someone that's helping them with some drops. And um, we remembered that we took ads in at one point and had him checked and tested for certain things because he got the flu shot and was allergic to it. So had allergic reaction. And so we probably need to take him in and check him out on some other things because all they checked out at that point was what he, what, what could have been in the flu shot, not anything else. I don't even think they tested him for dairy, but I think he's probably lactose intolerant. So some of the things that we've helped him with is uh, when he gets a stomach ache, so I just gives him some oils or whatever, and it helps him pretty quickly. So he might just also just be getting a gassy stomach and it makes him feel like he's gonna throw up. Either way, he wanted a bowl, he got a bowl, he seemed way too excited about it, but probably because he doesn't want to have to worry about throwing up in his bed, like he said. Poor guy. Pretty clean. I found that Part of the pool uh, pieces and parts, I mean, they've actually been doing this for a while, but they are leaking out there um, in the area that, uh, that the pipes come up where the mechanical pieces and parts that move to make the sprinkler heads pop up, well, the little cleaning heads pop up inside the pool. Kind of ignored it over the last few months, but uh, I decided to reach out and ask about those today. And uh, the contractor said that they had already looked at it and said that they didn't see any problems. Sometimes, I just have to stop and not say anything and just think about things for a while because if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. At this point, I'm not saying anything at all. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. In my two months of putting that thing on the back burner, that pool, uh, now going back to work on it, my frustrations may come back again and um, we'll see what happens with it. Give people a chance, right? Give them an opportunity to step it up and if they don't, I don't know what to do, but we'll figure, we'll figure it out. For now, the lights look good. The pool cover looks horrible. It sags down, so I don't know what to do about that. Um, I'm sure there's a solution somewhere somehow, but um, I'll start working on that over the next month to try to figure out what we can do with all those different little pieces and parts here and there. Concrete, I'm definitely gonna jump on that in the next few weeks and start taking care of that. It was really fun this afternoon. We got to hang out with our friends, the Alvies. They have the blog, The Good Bits. Their daughter, Miley, is getting ready to go on her mission to Nashville, Tennessee. So it was fun to see her before she leaves. We will actually go to her mission farewell, so we'll see her again before she leaves, but we haven't got to hang out with their family for such a long time, and we really love them. They're so awesome and great people, fun to be around, and actually Jake and Annalie and Johnny and I went to high school together. So actually I've known, we've known them since junior high, middle school, so a long, long time. But they are just the most awesome people. They have the best kids, and we just get along with them so well. So there's a link in the description for their channel. Go check them out. We had a great time with them. So I hope you like them too. We love you guys. And as always, you are worth it. Bye.